Is your display not connected to an NVIDIA GPU? Slash display settings not available. I will now tell you the most common fix to solve this problem. And you may think it's weird. I have a computer out here that's uh, completely disconnected from everything. But this is because it's much easier to show you this way. And of course, um, you know, your graphics card has to be connected with power and everything to work. But uh, let's say that um, your graphics card is uh, connected up as it should be and not standing on my interesting Norwegian chair but inside a case. Well, and you still get this message. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the problem is simply like this. You probably connected your monitor to your motherboard. You need to connect your monitor. Your monitor cable, signal cable needs to go to the graphics card directly. If you connect your monitor to your motherboard, you will bypass the graphics card. And it can be a little bit hard and tricky to know which one is the graphics card and motherboard if you're completely new to computers. But what you simply do is you just change it to another connection that fits. The uh, motherboard is usually higher up, like normally this would stand up like this, so pretend it does. And this would be the motherboard connections and then down below is the graphics card. The graphics card connection is usually like a metal slab like this with some fans and some just graphics intakes like that. That's usually how they look. Uh, motherboard usually have a VGA connection and it often has HDMI connections. Now this particular motherboard um, and GPU uh, doesn't have the HDMI connection onto the motherboard anywhere, but most more modern um, motherboards have. But if you connect your HDMI here and not here, well, you'll get the same problem. It's not connected. So put them in your graphics card. But you might say that, hey, my graphics card, most doesn't anymore, doesn't have a VGA connector. Only my motherboard has a VGA connector, and I need it for my monitor. Well, fortunately for you, most graphics cards have a DVI connector, and one of them are mixed, which means you can input a analog and a digital um, signal into them. They usually have a cross inside them. And there are adapters you can get that go from DVI, analog, to VGA, which is always analog. Now one of these you won't be able to plug in the adapter to, the other one you can plug in the adapter to, and you just plug it in there, you know, plug in the monitor in this one, and plug in that there, which is the mixed, that can take analog signal, output anal which is this one that can output analog signal, and then you can connect your monitor. Fantastic. Well, it's simple as that. You probably just connected your monitor to your motherboard instead of your graphics card. And if this doesn't solve the problem, it might be a driver issue. And if so, you will need to go into the description and check my little tutorial on how to update your drivers nice and manually. Or automatically. There are some different tutorials <coughs> I made. And there is also the possibility that your CPU's built-in graphics ship uh, is taking or getting prioritized over your dedicated graphics card and well what you need to do then is watch another tutorial on how to switch from Intel to dedicated graphics those are also in the description anyways thanks a lot for watching and I hope I'll see you in future videos this is Jim Odesen signing out